Good evening. My name is Justin Holmes. I lead our policy and communications teams here at Zipcar, and it is my pleasure to welcome you here to Zipcar's home office. Um, we are here tonight to talk about um, convergence uh, and the future of urban mobility. Um, we have organized a great panel of experts, which you see uh, behind me. Um, I've had the opportunity to work with in various ways all of them, uh, so very excited, and I think you should be as well, um, to hear a little bit more uh, about their rich perspectives um, on the future. Um, before we get started, I want to introduce uh, two people if I can. One is Sharon Fagan, uh, who will be our moderator for this evening. Um, Tracy will introduce her as well. Sharon has joined us from the Shared Use Mobility Center all the way from Chicago, so we're um, delighted to have Sharon here with us. And secondly, um, I want to introduce Tracy Zen. Um, Tracy took the wheel here at Zipcar, unintended, you were supposed to laugh at that, uh, <laughs> here back in January. Um, Tracy joined us after more than uh, two decades uh, in consumer technology and a variety of leadership roles, um, including right here in Boston at Boston-based TripAdvisor. Um, Tracy has lived in a bunch of uh, great cities. Um, New York and London, but now, of course, calls Boston home. Uh, we are thrilled to have her here as our leader. Please join me in welcoming Tracy Zanker. Thank you, Justin. Thank you for making me feel very old when you say two decades. <laughs> well, uh, welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm thrilled to host this event. Uh, it's been a great turnout, so I'm very excited. Um, and I also want to thank Sharon and Tim, who's, I think, here somewhere from the Shared Use Mobility Center uh, for coming all the way from Chicago and for spending a day with us and to moderate this event. Uh, and I also want to do a quick introduction. Thank you, uh, Chris, for joining us from the city of Boston. And we've got two um, alumni, Zipcar alumni with us today, Tyler George from Lyft and Gretchen Eppin from Newtonomy. So we're a great panel, as uh, Justin mentioned, and I'm, I'm super excited to be part of it. Uh, so for those of you guys, I'm assuming most of you know about Zipcar, but in case you don't, we uh, started 17 years ago um, out in Cambridge uh, as a scrappy little startup, and now we've since grown to over 500 cities and towns around the world. So really nice, uh, it's a great story for us. And now we, um, four years ago, we we're now based here, headquarters in Fort Point, uh, and it's a great community. You know, I'm sure those of you who are local know that it's a great center for innovation, so it's a great place to be. Um, and I'm really also looking forward to working with many of you all, uh, being the great city of Boston, which is my hometown now. Um, and without further ado, I would like to hand over to Sharon, uh, who is the executive director of the Sharon Use Mobility Center. And Sharon will tell you a little bit about it, but we, we've been partners with Sharon and her team for about two years now. And they've been great partners in my uh, thought leadership, but also a great resource for us as we think about how to collaborate more with cities and to make an impact to help grow some of the agenda around shared mobility. Thank you, Sharon. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm very excited to be here. As um, Rona said, my name is Sharon Fagan. I'm the executive director of the Shared Use Mobility Center. Uh, but nobody's yet explained exactly what is the Shared Use Mobility <laughs> Center. So, I'm going to give you a quick overview, and then we're going to go right into um, the panel and um, have a interesting discussion, I'm sure, about all the changes in the industry in Boston and um, kind of where we're going toward the future of mobility. And it's exciting to be here because Zipcar, uh, as you all know, of course, has been a leader in shared mobility uh, for quite a while. and um, and reinvented itself in various ways along the way and uh, doing great. And um, I say that as someone who also comes out of the car share world, um, just as a way of introducing the Shared Use Mobility Center. Before I uh, started that, um, I was a car share operator myself. Uh, I was involved in starting iGo Car Sharing in Chicago. Uh, and we were nonprofit car sharing and uh, ran it for 12 years and then we sold it um, on the private market. And because we were a nonprofit, um, it, the proceeds went back to the Center for Neighborhood Technology, which owned us. And the, their board allocated a little bit of uh, the proceeds to help us start the Shared Use Mobility Center. And the idea of that was to continue the mission of IGO, which was, is 
our mission now, uh, to make it possible to live well without having to own your own car by creating a multimodal transportation system that works for all. And so we moved out of any operations, no members, no cars, nothing of that sort, but instead we're working with cities across the country and helping transit agencies uh, with partnerships uh, with shared mobility providers. So we're involved in a lot of pilot projects, working closely with the Federal Transit Administration on a, all their uh, mobility on demand uh, sandbox projects, if you're familiar with that. Mm. Um, we also operate a clearinghouse of information, so you can check out our uh, site and you will see that we have um, a policy database that's filled with uh, 800 plus policies from across the country, a resource of uh, RFPs, RFIs, contracts, all the different things uh, going on and you can see some best practices and learn more about it. And there's a mapping website as well so that you can uh, see more about what's going on in specific cities. The other thing that we're involved in is a lot of convening. And so um, we hold a lot of workshops where we try to bring together the public sector, the private sector, and, uh, and work through some of the challenges for mobility and really our vision as going forward, uh, what we see happening is, is convergence, which this is uh, uh, this panel is titled, uh, but this idea that we're we're seeing uh, all of, a lot of these different modes kind of merging together, and um, and the idea of creating a multimodal transportation system becoming a closer reality, and the last thing um, I would say on that is that we're also involved in a lot of research and our uh, study that we did um, last year for the Transportation Research Board um, highlighted the idea of the super sharers and the super sharers are, um, this was a survey that was distributed in seven cities by transit agencies and other shared mobility providers and the people who use three modes plus transit actually owned a car less than people who just used uh, transit. And really what that showed to us was that if you can be in the right conditions, if you can create the right conditions where you have this multimodal environment, it does in fact make it possible to, um, you know, to live in a car light, car free uh, environment. So with that, I'm going to um, move into my moderator role. And um, thank you all for being here.